Hey guys, hope you've all been well. I'm finally back after Ramadan and Eid madness. Honestly, things just got too crazy, so your girl had to go, but I'm finally back with a new video, and this video is gonna be this glam, get ready with me. I've got some lovely shimmery eyes with a little bit of drama happening, and I've got a lovely bold red lip, and I'll also be showing you guys how I style my turban. It's super easy and super simple. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Nude. I'm just gonna pop that all over my eyelid. And I'm just going to blend that in using my finger. Also, yes, I do have a bit of a cold, so I apologize if I sound weird, but you know, your girl had to get back to eating, so here I am. Next up, it's time to move on to eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'll be using the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette, and I'm going to grab the shade Substitute for Love and blend it all over my eyelid. Next up, I'm going to grab the shade Freshly Toasted and blend that all into my crease. Now I'm going to grab the shade Infusion on a smaller brush and pop it on the inner corners and the outer corners of my eyes and I'm just going to go back and forth tapping in colour and then blending just to make sure the colour is really bold and popping but also nicely blended throughout the look. Next up, I'm gonna grab the shade Pure Ganache and pop it in the center of my eyelids just to add a little bit more drama, give it a little bit more 3D-ness, even though our eyelids are 3D, you know, just to make it pop a bit more when we walk past people. They're like, ooh, dang, who that? That's me. And now it's time for the creme de la creme of the eye look. So I'm grabbing the Beauty People Romantic Light Flash Pearl Pigment and I'm popping that all over my eyelid with my finger and oh my god you guys, this literally makes your eyes pop like right out of the dang sockets. Now because I want my eyes to really pop and stand out, I'm going to go back into the black eyeshadow and pop it into the inner corner and the outer corners of my eyes and literally the moment you do this, you notice just so much depth and dimension in your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's like looking into like, I don't know, something really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my eyes for now and come back to them later. For now, I'm gonna start off by cleaning up the underneath of my eyes using a wipe. And I'm also gonna try and clean up the edge of my eyeshadow just so it's nice and straight and sharp. Okay, so now it's time to prime the face. So I'm gonna prime my face using my Makeup Forever Skin Equalizing Primer. I'm literally gonna put that all over my face, but mainly focusing it on the areas where I've got more texture, so my nose, my chin, and my forehead, and a little bit where I've got some dry skin, because honestly, my dry skin is like killing me, so I'm hoping this will hopefully, you know, sort of make it all blur together nicely. And now I'm going to colour correct using my Ardea London Flawless Concealer in the shade 5 and I'm just going to pop that wherever I've got a little bit of darkness so underneath my eyes, on my marks and scars cause your girl has a lot to hide and then I'm going to grab my blending sponge and just blend that all in Next up, I'm going to grab my matte concealer in the shade NC35 and I'm just going to pop this in all those areas where I want like bulletproof concealing. So under my eyes and on any stubborn spots or marks and scars. And once it's done, I'm just going to blend that all in using the heat of my fingers because I feel like honestly that's the best way to blend any kind of creamy, thick concealer. It just blends so much nicer when you use your finger. Now I'm going to grab my Estee Lauder Beam Team Hydrate and Glow and this is basically a creamy hydrating glow and honestly I kind of wish I put this on before the concealer but you know we're already here now but yeah I'm literally going to grab this and smother it all over my face. 
Now I'm gonna grab my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the shade Stromboli and I'm just gonna pop this all over my face using my fingers and then once that's everywhere, I'm gonna use my fingers to then spread it all over my face, kind of doing like a mini blending before actually blending it. I feel like this really helps your foundation just look perfect throughout the day. So I'm gonna start off by blending it with my fingers and then I'm gonna grab my sponge and then go in for the final blend. Next up, I'm gonna grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, and I'm just gonna apply this on the usual places where I conceal and highlight, so underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. This time around, I did also apply it around my mouth, and honestly, I really wish I didn't, because I feel like it just accentuated the dry skin I had there, so, you know, you live and you learn, and it's okay to make mistakes. But anyway, once it's all done, I'm gonna grab my blending sponge, and then just blend, blend away. Next up, I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to use it to set my under eyes just to make sure they don't budge or crack throughout the day. Also, for some ridiculous reason, I use the excess powder all over my face, which is something I never do. And honestly, I just played myself because it seriously just made my dry skin stand out so much. So if you have dry skin, please do not do that. Anyway, now it's time to contour with my Artist of Makeup Medium Contour Stick and I'm just going to pop this in the hollows of my cheeks a little bit on like my forehead and a little bit on the side of my jaw and then I'm just going to blend that in using my blending sponge. And once that's done I'm just going to grab a big fluffy brush and wipe off all the excess powder that I have from the bake. Once that's done, I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the shade Natural One. I'm just going to blend that into the hollows of my cheeks just to make that contour pop. And then I'm also going to blend it just around my forehead just to make sure the warmth is gradually everywhere, not just in certain areas. And now it's time for blush, so I'll be using my Sleek Blush in the shade Antique. I'm just going to do a creepy smile and then pop it onto the apples of my cheeks, but also blend it out slightly where my contour was. I feel like doing this just makes it look a little bit more natural. Next up, I'm going to grab my Golden Glow Highlighter from New Look, and I'm just going to pop that onto the high points of my face, so on like the top part of my cheekbones, around my eyebrows, so underneath it and above it, and on my nose, and just on my cupid's bow. And now it's time to clean up those lips, because honestly, I hate the feeling of foundation on my lips. It just feels so gross and drying, so I'm just going to get a wet wipe, wipe that off, and then grab a lip balm just to make sure I'm nice and hydrated. This is where I forgot what I was supposed to do next that I saw the time and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die so I need to hurry up. And now I'm just gonna go back into the Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palette and pick up the shade Freshly Toasted and I'm just gonna put this all along my lash line. And now I'm just gonna clean the brush using a wet wipe and then go back into the palette and grab the shade Pure Ganache and pop that in the inner corners of my eyes just to add a bit of a pop. And now I'm just going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waze in the shade Granite and I'm just going to use that to fill in my brows. So I'm just going to start off by like outlining my eyebrows, giving a little bit of a definition, giving a little bit of a fill, and then making sure like the end part is super fleeky. And then I go back to the front part of the brow and I add a little bit of product but then I blend it out just so it's got a nice feathered ombre look. it's time to finish off the eyes with some lashes so I'll be using the Fatia's World lashes in Nyma. Next up I'm gonna grab my Benefit Royal Lash Mascara and pop these on my top lashes and then I'm gonna sort of pinch my lashes so they sort of stick to the falsies because I don't like it when your lashes start to separate so I'm gonna do that and then I'm also gonna pop it on my lower lashes as well. And then for my lips, I'll be using the Zahara Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boss. Boss. 
And now it's time to set the face using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I'm literally just going to spray this all over my face and then just sort of, you know, sand my face so it all dries up nicely. Now the face is done, it's time to move on to the turban. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop on my black bonnie cap. Once that's on, I'm going to grab my long rectangle scarf and place it on my head like so. I'm going to bring it forward and also fold over the edge because my scarf is a little sheer and I want to make sure that it's not as sheer when I do this turban. Once you've done that, you want to make sure both the ends of your scarf are equal and then you want to grab the scarf and place it around your forehead. You can give yourself a triangle point if you want or you can just bring it round like a curve like I have. You want to bring the scarf behind your ears at the back and then you want to flip the side. So bring the left to the right and the right to the left. And once I've done that, I'm going to grab one of the sides, neaten it up and bring it around my head. And I'll be doing this at a slight diagonal angle. And then with the remaining part of the scarf, I'm just going to tuck it into my underscarf. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side. So, you know, neaten it up, bring it around at an angle and then tuck it into my underscarf. Once that's all done, it's time to secure everything in place using straight hijab pins. So I'm going to pop one at the back, one on the side, one on the other side. And then I'm also going to pin down the front by lifting it up and pinning it underneath the fabric so it stays together but it's not visible because I really don't want to be able to see these pins. And yeah guys, that brings us to the end of the video. This is a completed look. We've got some super glam makeup with a super chic turban. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful for you guys. I will be putting details to everything I use in this video, including some pictures of this look on my blog, which is SimaChild.co.dk. So make sure you guys check that out. I will link it down below. And remember, you guys can follow me on social media at SimaSmilesLike for Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!